So, David, in between the shows this morning, we were talking during the break. In between the shows, I thought or felt like that Tuesday was already over, and now I'm back doing the noon show. It's yep. Wednesday. No, it's not Wednesday. That it's still Tuesday. Week. But you know what? The weather's just as confused because it's October. Here we are in October, and it feels like, what, the beginning of September, exactly, maybe? Exactly, yeah, and you cannot be blamed. It happens, especially on these great cloudy so days. So, I don't know. I'm, so, I'm blaming yeah. the weather. Therefore, I'm blaming you for all of this. <laughs> I always get blamed for everything. So, anytime I have the weather forecast, there's always somebody that thinks something's wrong. Yeah, so always, happens. right? <laughs> Let me hopefully bring some good news for you. Let's check out that almanac from yesterday. Uh, yeah, the weather, I guess you could say, is still confused. It's, it was 81 degrees across a good portion of the viewing area. We still got into those lower 80s and we should be in the lower 70s. So we definitely are well above average today, though. It is so gray and cloudy out there that the temperatures are really not bumping up as quickly as they have the last couple of days. It's just 70 at the moment, but it's still very damp, muggy, whatever you'd like to call it. You can just feel that moisture is still out there, even though it's not raining and there we go. We have those current temperatures getting warmer as you go south. There has been a little bit of extra sunshine down toward Manassas, Chantilly and DC, but most of us have seen ample amounts of fog and then cloud cover, and that's what's kept us in the upper 60s and lower 70s. And there's those clouds again, replacing the fog in a rapid fashion as we have moved into the afternoon now, and that's what we're going to see more of as time rolls along. Now, there is this frontal boundary just to our south. It's not really the main cause of the cloud cover that we're currently seeing, but along this front is going to be the focal point for any bit of shower development that goes on later this afternoon and into the evening. So many of us are going to stay dry since we're north of that backdoor cold front and we'll just have those clouds sticking around. But spotty showers, maybe a storm or two could develop across parts of Virginia, southern Maryland later today. And with a very stagnant pattern still in play, we're going to have overnight fog once again and more rounds of those afternoon spotty showers both tomorrow and Thursday, and all the while we continue to stay on the warmer side of things compared to October standards. Now, part of the reason why we continue to have that overnight fog, the spotty showers too, is we have this influx of moisture and warmth from the south. There's another low pressure center spinning away down toward Mississippi and Alabama, and along with that, there's a high pressure center off to the north and east. So we're getting a light onshore flow off the Atlantic, the influx of moisture from the south with not a lot of wind mixing it all up. And that being the case, we continue to have those foggy mornings and very cloudy afternoons. And that's what we're going to see here today. Notice how the clouds are not going anywhere. We will see that little bit of rainfall developing south of the Interstate 66 corridor, even all the way down toward Culpeper. But many of us really are not going to see that rainfall at all. But still, keep the rain gear handy. We could end up with a few spotty showers through the day today and even into tomorrow with all of this cloudiness and not a lot of movement to the overall weather pattern. So not the most ideal setup if you're looking for sunshine, maybe a little bit of that of that fall crispness. We're going to continue to have just this cloudy setup into the weekend. More rainfall Friday and Saturday before things get moving again and we finally clear things out by next Monday.